Question 35. Consider a recursive algorithm for sorting an array of n is greater than or equal to 2 integers, and it works as follows. If there's only two elements to be sorted, compare them. Otherwise, do these steps. Recursively sort the first n minus 1 elements, then recursively sort the last n minus 1 elements, then recursively sort the first two elements. What's the asymptotic running time? complexity of this algorithm measured in terms of number of comparisons. So uh, what I did is I drafted a little pseudocode so you could see what we're talking about here. Basically what we're talking about here is we have this recursive sort thing. If n equals 2 then we compare these two items and we put them in order. One compare operation. If, if n is not equal to 3, 4, 5, however many it is, then we, we sort the first n minus 1 elements of the array. And then we tag on the last element. We don't sort that one. Then we sort the uh, last n minus 1 elements of the array. And we append to the front of that the first element. We don't sort that one. Finally, we sort the first two numbers in the array. So we know that we're going to end up with a sorted array, A. That will be the output of the program, meaning we'll just sort it in place. So, <clears throat> just to give you an idea what we're talking about, if A, let's see if I can do this here, if A was to equal 3, 2, 1, and N, the N is obviously 3, then on the first pass, we would swap these last two, and it would become A, 2, 1, 3. Then we would, sw then we would sort the uh, first two, um, yeah, for, first we, for this, we, we sort the first n minus 1, then the second n minus 1, then we sort the first two. So this is basically what would happen in this sorting um, algorithm here. So now the question is, what's the time complexity of this? Well, in order to do that, let's just count it out. Let's see, let's see how we do. If... Uh, We'll do this in blue here. If n equals 2, if n equals 2, then we're just going to do one compare. So the time complexity or the, the, uh, the number of operations, the comparisons, uh, maybe I should call this C for the number of comparisons, is going to be 1. If n equals 3, then it's going to be the same amount as if we compared two, because we're we're doing a sort of two numbers here, and here we're doing a sort of two numbers, and then we're doing a compare basically here. So it would be one for this this line, plus one for this line, because this one is sorting two, and this one is sorting two numbers, and then it would be one for this line because this is sorting two numbers. So that's not hard. Now what happens if n equals 4? If n equals 4, this would be 3 numbers, and this would be 3 numbers, and this would still be 2 numbers, which is n, n minus 1. So this would be, it would be, this equals 3. 3 plus 3 plus 1. If it equals 5, and this would be 4, and this would be 4, so that would be 7 plus 7 plus 1, which would equal 15. So basically, the, when, you, when, you, when you map this all out, let me make sure this is getting on the screen here. Yeah, it's getting on there. Um, if we sort two numbers, we get one operation. If we sort three numbers, we have three. If we have four numbers, it's seven. Five numbers, it's 15, and so on and so on. It's not hard to figure out that the, uh, the pattern here is 2 to the n minus 1 plus 1 which is basically two to, theta of 2 to the n, right? So the answer on the, in the question is D. D, theta, theta of 2 to the n is the uh, time complexity of this particular algorithm.